Hi, I'm Jay Neff. I'm a trainer here in Southern California, and this is the yearling colt that Cincy Cutter and I bought at the California yearling sale from Barrett's at Del Mar Racecourse just uh, a week ago. So the Jockey Club has granted us a name for this colt, and since he is a direct male descendant of Man o War, the name that was chosen is Lord Admiral. We're at Steve Charles Training Center down in Romaland, California, just uh, about an hour and a half south of Santa Anita, and the top man, Angel, is putting Lord Admiral through his paces here in the uh, breaking pen. He's got a sur single on him, and right now he's just lunging him and in a moment, he will attach the flexible reins from the surcingle to the bit that's in his mouth and start getting him used to a little pressure on the bit as he goes in the circle here. And just to keep everyone on our toes, he gets into a little bit of bucking and kicking there, but nothing too serious. As you can see, this is a very big yearling colt. He is just 20 months old, one year and eight months. He was foaled on March 22nd uh, and of last year. So he is pretty big for his age. He's got a, another four months till he's two, and he's well ahead of the game in terms of growth. Yet he handles his size very nicely. He's got a nice rhythmic stride. He just bounces gracefully along. He doesn't hit the ground real hard. You won't see him dragging his feet as he goes in this tight little circle. And uh, he handles himself really nicely. He can act pretty stupid. Oh. Now, granted, the guys working with Lord Admiral right now are not the size of NBA players, but they're not midgets either. And you can see by comparison, this is a big, tall colt. And he's got plenty of substance. He's not one of those skinny, slab-sided things. He's tall, but he's got uh, nice, developed hindquarters and shoulders. There's plenty of bulk to this horse. And he's well-behaved. As you can see, he stands very nicely for his bath, and he lets the boys work on him, get them all cleaned up, including his dirty nose. And uh, you won't see him throwing his head around and lifting it up out of everyone's reach. He's very tolerant, very level-headed. <laughs> and when he's done with his bath, he goes for a walk on the Eurosizer. He's got a little room there to stretch his legs and relax in the sunshine and dry off before he gets uh, bedded down in a uh, stall with some fresh hay.